again, man. Ooh, somebody just said, what's next for Tony Harrison? Ooh, I don't know about that, man. Rematch that dude he just fought because <laughs> that shit was bad, man. That was kind of – nah, it's not my connection. It's on. It's Twitter, man. Hold on, uh, send that invite, man. Uh, but we was just talking about Wilder versus Fury and or Anthony Joshua versus Fury. You guys already know my stance. There's no way, like, man, hold, on, I, I can't, I can't wait. Let me just wait for my wait for my dude to join. What's going on, man? Yeah, yeah. but but. Basically, what I was trying to say there is that you're establishing, like, two different arguments. So you're saying that Errol Spence, if he put on the performance that Tyson Fury did in Kel Bro- against Kel Brook, that he wouldn't get the decision, which is arguable. Probably true, right? Because we all know how judges work. But my argument is who's, like, who actually won? Like, who should have actually won? Like, in that first Wilder, fight. Because Wilder not because of the not, knockdown. Wilder was not robbed of a fucking knockout, dude. Okay, that let's... fight should have been waved off as soon as his eyes rolled in the back of his head. Okay, let's let's re- okay. So let's say that l- let's say what, with what with the... did Fury land that's so significant that made us think that damn Wilder got his ass kicked. Well, boxing isn't scored on one punch. It's scored on uh who wins accumulation of rounds. So I let's know. say. Th- Let's say that yeah, but your that your argument doesn't fit that. If you say which punch did he land, it doesn't dude, make you, doesn't it, matter. It's, it, it, it's everything involved in that fight, dude. When you think about that fight, what do you remember? You remember Fury, and you remember him getting knocked the fuck out. Okay, and so when I watch popping Ch- up Ch- like the Undertaker after a long count, that's what people when I see. Ch- that, that's what we remember. Yeah, but that doesn't mean. He, he, okay, so on, I'm saying if it goes to the scorecards and the knockdown is legal, what's the, what should the score of that fight should have been? Because Wilder would argue that that fight should have been scored in his favor, which is normal because he's a fighter, right? But what do you think that score should have been if it's judged fairly? Wilder should have won that fight most definitely. Oh my goodness! Unanimous, so you unanimous decision. Okay, so that's two ten eights, and then he would need four other rounds, not including the ninth round and the twelfth round, for it to be. Dude, go look at those early rounds. He Why lost he those. Like the first four rounds, dude. Oh my what goodness, did Fury do? dude. What did Fury do? Sticking your tongue out does not make you win a fight in America. Like, what is that, dude? Why yeah. put him on his ass twice? What time? When did Fury put him on his ass in the second fight, and he couldn't keep him on on his ass? He was still standing up. Yeah, because his corner saved him. The if they could, it's needed, man. If the corner is cheating or not, a third fight is needed, bro. The first fight was a draw, but it could have been arguing to either side, like people say. No, Second most ninety ninety blowout, right? Ninety percent, but it was ninety percent of the world thinks that there. There's ninety no, percent of the no, world thinks that Tyson no. Fury won the first fight. If you go to Showtime, had to edit, had to fucking edit the epilogue to make it look like a competitive fight. Oh my goodness, that show Dude, is what? fucking fucking hilarious. Dude, Showtime highlights is freaking Fury getting his ass knocked the hell no, out. No, you know how Showtime does like the those post shows, like the the epilogue. No, oh, look at are... look at look at Hakeem switching it up. No, mm. he was just all here talking about Wilder. You know Wilder. Won now, that first if fight. if your argument is about the knockdown and that he should have been knocked out, that's actually a legitimate okay. argument. Like I I would say like oh, okay that's fine. Like if you think that Wilder should have gotten the knockout, Dude, that's and, an and argument. That's why it's a it's a draw regardless because there's too many it's too but, much stipulations around it. It's like what Terrence Crawford said. He says T- Tyson Fury outpointed him and he knocked him out. So it's a draw. Okay, now let's move forward. Second fight, it looked like, okay, Fury beat him up, you know, and Wilder's team threw the towel. But Wilder did not stop. Wilder kept on going. And yes, he but to keep if... on fighting. And we all know, we all know, we've seen Wilder get punched up on by Luis Ortiz, all that. And still come back and not win by uppercut. Yes, but it's also possible. It's also possible that if the corner yeah. didn't stop it, that he would have gotten knocked out. It could have, but you know, this is boxing. Shit happens. You keep on going. 
Yeah, and what happened there was that his corner saved him. He but no, he he got finished. He got TKO'd. It doesn't dude, matter. Dude, it's like this. If your corner yeah, stops it, then I'm not you gonna deny. Finish. I'm not gonna deny that it looked bad for Wilder in there. It did. But we you and I, we both seen Wilder look bad and he ended up knocking a dude out with some not, crazy wicked shot out of nowhere. Not you know, like that. Wilder, though. Wilder, he was ble- and he was bleeding out of his ear. I know that it was a scratch now, but then we didn't know. Like it looked like he was like it could have been that like you had to look at it in that moment. So now we know that it was just a scratch or whatever, so he's bleeding out of a cut. But in the corner's mind it's like, oh fuck, like like is his brain bleeding? Like what what's going on here? He's b- bleeding out of his ear. And he was his body language, like when he was in the corner, he wasn't listening to his cor- his head was on his knees, like he was tired as fuck. Yeah, that goes into play what he says, man. I don't know. He said he wasn't feeling Dude, Mark good. Breland, Mark Breland's he, the same, he, he my said guy. Mark Breland, gave him Mark some, Breland, some mysterious. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Did Wilder look like the normal Wilder that you see in every fight during that fight? No, he looked wobbly. He looked wobbly, right? Didn't he? His legs are gone. Like what? In the second, first round? Like what the fuck? No, I, I in the third when he was like there was an exchange before the knockdown. Where he like kind of caught himself on the ropes, and I was uh, that looked um, like a th- uh, uh, but I think that, that could be like a like a like a numerous amount of different things. But I I definitely don't think Mark Breland fucking did it. Man, it's not. I don't think Mark Breland. It's not Mark it. Breland doing it. It's Mark 